All right, coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. All right, well, he's one of the more accomplished strikers in this division. Sprawl and brawl, whatever you want to say, he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. It does not matter how he accomplishes it. All he wants to do is be on his feet and at range, hitting you with the beautiful jab, staying away from the grappling exchanges. You don't accomplish all the things that this man has accomplished over the course of his career without understanding distance. He has great distance management, which then in turn allows him to land all these beautiful diverse kicks, spinning back kick, jumping high kick, so many things he possesses that he will try to use tonight in this fight. Yeah, if this turns into a kickboxing match tonight, most it's people over. believe, yeah, his opponent is in a it's world over, of trouble. All right, here he is, DC. In my mind, this is the most dominant force in the MMA game today. The undisputed UFC lightweight champion, your AKA teammate, Khabib Nurmagomedov. Yeah, and for Khabib, it's the well-rounded skill set that has propelled him to one of the longest undefeated streaks in mixed martial arts history. No missteps, no mistakes, no underestimation of opponents. Always prepared, always ready to go, and he can rely on his the coaching he gets, also on the ability that he has to carry him to victory time and time again. Wrestling, Sambo, Jiu-Jitsu, striking, the guy has it all. I know you listed striking last, but your head coach, Javier Mendez, says sometimes he's going southpaw yeah. in training. We haven't seen just how good a striker he is. We saw shades in the McGregor fight. Yes. But not complete. But technically, he has so many skills that he has not even displayed to the MMA community yet. All right, another big spot for Khabib Nurmagomedov here tonight. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. So more than 10 years apart, these two fighters. Some differences in height and reach. Here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, a referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 264 pounds. The Warrior! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a grappler, holding a professional record of 29 wins, no losses. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, Habib, the Eagle, Nurmagomedov! Okay, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. You ready? So here we go, this highly anticipated fight is now underway. Looks like a classic matchup of striker versus grappler. Am I simplifying things too much? In this instance, you aren't, because this is what got these two men to the show. One guy is known for his diverse attack on the feet. The other guy is known for his ability to drag the fight to the mat and put his opponents in danger from the very start of the grappling exchanges. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. And he landed the right hand there. Big powerful punch land. Now he gets back to range. He lands a switch knee. Goes upstairs for an elbow. They're certainly getting after it early. 
Well, you start to really worry about the wrestling, and there's that left hand from Cubby. Underrated. I mean, it's a very underrated part of his game, his ability to stand and strike with anybody in the UFC. Oh, and there's that head kick. He kept talking about the opening that would be there on Thursday. Those words proven prophetic right there. I mean, his vision and his timing allows him to get that technique off. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? And they set him. Plus, right hand is true. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Straight right, he misses. Nice straight punch. Oh, single collar tie here. Beautiful body kick. Nice jab there by Nermago Meta. Oh, he missed with that right hand. Sneaky head kick. Pretty good job staying patient as he lands the counter strike there. Strong work by Nermago Meta. Oh, just out of range with that right hand. Five total strikes have now landed for Khabib Nurmagomedov. Oh, big left hook there. Misses with the right hand. That was an elite elbow. So he's mixing everything up. And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. Hit him with the overhead. Not there. Already closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Oh, that's a beautiful strike there by Khabib. Don't call him a one-trick pony. Don't call him a one-trick pony, John, because he isn't. He is a guy that is able to mix everything up inside the octagon. Oh, I love the jab. I know you love the jab. That was a nice one. It's my favorite punch in all the fight. He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. Oh, nice connection by him there with the right hand. The right hand is the dominant hand, and you can see how well he throws it. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? All right, so a nice job there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be, and if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Oh, strong uppercut for him there. That'll get his attention. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Oh, damage done. Bleeding from his cheek now. Oh, beautiful jab there. It's one thing to half length. Of course, it's another to use it effectively. Beautiful job with that jab. Wild swing there. Look at the skip action that allows you to land that big knee. Just misses there with the left. Offensive fight, nice job to block the shot there. It's okay, keep going, keep going. So once again, making good use of his size as he lands the knee. Got the single collar tie. And they separate. Landed a good uppercut there. Thirty seconds now to go in the round. Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked, the hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Oh, that's a nice strike. Starting to gain some confidence here on the feet, and to that end, there's the roundhouse kick. You know he's feeling good when he's throwing those beautiful roundhouse kicks at every part of your body. Second round, straight ahead. All right, there's the horn, and what a round it was. DC, take us through the replays. Punch after punch. He landed him at will. He went right at his opponent, got in his face, and showed this is my octagon. We are going to dance to the beat of my two. All right, here we go with round two. Round one, pretty good, not great, but some action on both sides. We can't always hope for fireworks, John. Yeah. Sometimes you got to deal with the ebbs and flows of the fight. In round number one, so both guys have success. Let's see who really charges out ahead in the second round. And they separate. 
Great punch landed with so much power. Nice one, two there. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may blow the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. Oh, that's a good strike there by Nermago Meadow. Single collar tie now. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw, and he'll continue to wear on his own gas tank. Unable to connect with the right. Oh, nice straight punch there. Must be nice to have a reach advantage like this, DC. Just missed with the left there. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. And that one certainly found the target. And they separate. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. You wonder if the offensive fighter is going to start to get frustrated here. Most, if not all, of these shots are getting blocked. They're getting blocked because he's fighting for the best. Oh, how about the transition to the ankle pick? Now we will see where he goes from here. Got the ankle pick. Let's see how he advances from this position. All right, he's sort of hanging out here unguarded, DC. Not sure if he's trying to bait him in or what, but not great body language here. Ooh, blocks the shot. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Great upper body movement defensively. Slips another strike there, and offensively, he hasn't been a world beater, but defensively, he's been strong. Today. And that has to cause frustration for the opponent, not being able to hit a guy that you want to really put away. But that's a testament to the head and the activity and the awareness of this fighter. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very good. Oh, he continues to attack that bloody cheek. His face is a mess. Hard shots landing on both sides here. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Ooh, big shot land. He blocks the punch. Hits the elbow there. All right, so a near perfect entry there, and finally he gets his first takedown of the fight, and they say, of course, you don't succeed. Try, try again, just have to get him down. Persistence pays, and that's what we saw with this young man. Over and over, he shot for takedowns, he tried to mix it up, and he got defended. But eventually, he got it done. Now, what does he do with this top of the Oh, good job defensively to block the strike there by Nermago Medov. That's a big strike right there. Real sneaky head kick gets in there. That right hand hurt him a little bit. All right, so once again, they will clinch, and we will see which fighter is able to advance their position from here. Who's going to be the first one to attempt to take down? Both of our combatants have the ability to score and secure the position. Who's going to be the one that makes the first move? Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. What a punch. All right, single collar tie now. And there comes the separation now. Nermago Medov gets caught by that straight punch. His defense has abandoned him tonight. Man, it's almost like he's got a range finder out there. Just too easy as he connects with another good series of punches. There. If you're boxing this guy and only boxing him, you will be in trouble. Get out there, let's stay.
All right, a lot of tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a Telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my Telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out. All right, the action continues here and now as our next round gets underway. The previous round won't be confused for a round of the year, but pretty good action. It was a pretty good round. Not every round is going to have you standing up out of your seat. You understand that you are watching the highest level of fighting in the entire world. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Good punch, Lance. It's such a fast leg kick. He is so sound defensively. Nice job to raise the guard there. It's the relaxation that allows him to see things coming and block most of the strikes that are coming at him. Oh, and he lands yet another flush knee. That's going to leave a mark. And again, when you're using this length as effectively as he is here tonight, we might get a finish here in the not-too-distant future. Nice. Oh, body kick attempt here. It's no good. Right hand is on point. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Oh, that cut is looking nastier by the minute. Uppercut to the head, instead it's blocked. That one appeared to stun him. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Trying to stay in this fight. Nice job there to land the knee strike to the body again, making great use of his length in this matchup. Nurmago Medov gets hit with a kick. Oh, collar tie. Big knee land. Just a nice entry into the finish direct. Well, he's more than content to work off of his back, DC, where he has been a magician in his UFC career. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Ooh, all right, he's got the full mount now, DC, and he has proven to be a hard guy to buck off from this position. Oh, because he's so heavy. He keeps his weight down. He really does grind on you with his, with his bottom half. He doesn't do anything with his arms. His arms are free to punch. He's collecting you with the tips of his legs, making you make a determination as to whether or not you want to get grounded on the mat or if you to give your back up where he will then start to chase chokes. A lot of energy expenditure defensively if you are the bottom fighter in this equation. Nice punch by Nermago Medov. Slips to avoid the right. A oh, really good job by him there to raise the guard. He's oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, 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 oh! Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds. And it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter take the judges out of it. Great punch. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Uh, outstanding knee to the head. We'll see if he can follow it up. Certainly using his length well in this one tonight. That's a pretty good right hand there by your teammate, Khabib Nurmagomedov. You're so worried about the wrestling that when the hands come, you're not expecting it. Habib lands early, and he lands often. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Slips. Well, he continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with the punch. Oh! News hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, big left. So he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strokes. Yeah, the ground and pound would be a plenty from this position. 
Oh, really nice work to keep Busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here for Bob. Recovery, man, right back to his feet. Final seconds of round three. Watch the strike. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship round. So the crowd voicing its appreciation after that round. We had a knockdown courtesy of a punch midway through. DC, here's your highlight. It was straight. He threw him in combination and landed that big punch that really did hurt his opponent. Lesser men would have been done. He's got a tough guy in front of him. He will have to go back to this again. He will have to get back to this action if he wants to get the desired finish. Catch your breath. Breathe. Listen. You can do this now. I want you to go down and put your comment. All right, here we go with the start of another round. Pretty good previous two rounds, I thought. Yeah, it's been a very competitive fight to this point. Both guys have had their moments, especially in these last two rounds. You expect somebody to get ahead. They both been so evenly matched. We're still right when we start. Oh, single collar tie here. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Straight right hand, no good. So the head strike's starting to pile up. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. I mean, he's cutting them down the size with this beautiful leg kick. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. He's determined to land as many leg kicks as he can in this fight. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. And they separate. Punch there by Nermago Medoff. Oh man, his leg kicks are outstanding, and you saw a great example of that just there. And you see his opponent start to slow down and cannot take many of those kicks. Strong defense there to block the shot. Nice instincts. All right, so he connects with another punch there, kind of targeting that cut. I mean, when you get a cut on your opponent and you see it and it's pouring blood, you continue to attack it. Every time you land, you can see that it splits a little bit more. Great job finding that weakness. Nermako gets the takedown. Useful. Close guard. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Man, look at that damage on the right side of his body. Starting to really bruise now. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Nermago Medoff. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Can't take many of those. You better check. Nice one, two there. Trying to land the elbow there to no avail. There's no give on that leg kick. Wow, that right punch has been the money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, he will continue to throw the strike until he makes it. Stop throwing. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Throws the right hand there. Just over two minutes now to go. Beautiful strike. Nice straight right, Lance. Well, eventually you know he's going to turn this defense into offense, but he's certainly doing a nice job on the defensive end. Of they talk about the feeling on process. He's getting his opponent's timing. Now he's blocking everything. It's Greg Collins as he goes forward. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got a pressure. He's got to go chase that finish down now. So holding on to him here, not doing a ton. Perhaps just looking to recover. Really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Got the single collar tie. Oh, 
A swing and a miss by Nermago Meta. What a fantastic wrestler. Great takedown. All right, so you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't wanna mess around for too long. 45 seconds remain in the round. Well, you see all the grappling repetitions here. Just beautiful movement, seamless transitions on the ground. Over and over, these guys are doing things that you see in every jiu-jitsu gym around the country. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Touch his block. 15 seconds. Big kick lands. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. Oh, tags him with the left. That left hand has been really effective tonight. Right now, we take a look back at some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides, really. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. That's exactly what they did, and they both found success over the course of that round. All right, here we go with our next round, DC. Pretty good game plan in the previous round. Attacked the body to great effect, and we'll look to continue to do so here. He has done a great job of making... Oh! Oh, he tasted that knockout light! He tasted the knockout light! Wow! Wow! Oh, my goodness, what a fight. Yeah, that right there is a high-level knockout, ladies and gentlemen. Crowd absolutely loving it. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Landed flush. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming. So a huge, huge win for that young fighter here tonight. Well, another highlight for the real DC as we look back at that scintillating knockout. Yeah, but the whole fight, he was landing great strikes, kicks, punches. He was doing everything right until eventually he found the shot that ended the fight. So a strong candidate for some bonus money there. A huge knockout for him here tonight. Near perfect execution. They'll be talking about this result for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at six seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by knockout, Khabib the Eagle of And there is the man of the moment, and what a moment this must be like for a professional athlete, right? I know you enjoy the birth of your kids, right? Yeah. But you knock out a man in a cage fight, I can't think of anything better. I mean, there's nothing like it. You know, you don't even hear the one that lands that puts out your opponent's lights. And tonight, he got that done. And he should be very proud 